the metal channel brings you to the next integration problem, which is to integrate the secant to the power of ax over cosecant x dx. Right, so the first thing that we can do is to change the 1 over cosecant x into sine x. All right, uh, we know that the sine x um, dx, and then the next thing we will do is split this secant to the power of ax into secant to the power of 7x, secant x, um, sine x dx. So we know that uh, secant x is equal to 1 over cosine x, and sine times 1 over cosine x is just basically equals to tangent x. So we have secant to the power of 7x tangent x. So these two from here combine itself gives you tangent x. And uh, the next thing we will do is to split this secant to the power of 7x up into secant to the power of 6x, secant x, um, tangent x, dx. And from here itself, we will do this thing called the integration by substitution. So how do we go about doing it is to let y be equals to secant x and then dy over dx is just basically equals to secant x tangent x dx. All right. So we've got the breathings up here it becomes dx. All right. So from here itself, we will sub in the secant x tangent x dx as dy. And then uh, this secant to the power 6x is just y to the power 6. And then we do a integration. So this is very straightforward. This is y to the power 7 over 7 plus c. All right. So last but not least, substitute y equals to secant x into this. That will be equals to secant to the power of 7x over 7 plus c. And that is our final answer for this question. All right. So if you guys have any problems with regards to this video, do comment in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.